if you now engage Oriki offer and all you Yes, and Kagun Kakonu, Agron Lofa, and Akuru Kaduko, and what is Kagun Kakonu? Kagun Kakonu is Agbado, Kon. Agron is yam, because it just calls. Akuru Kanuku, that's the, the yam stem instead under the. Yeah. So it just, because it is oral text, it has to be said in a way. That the hearer cannot forgive, forget. So it's performed. It is performed. It is poetic yeah. in nature. Mm -hmm. Go into the Bible, all pronouncements of prophets are delivered poetically mm -hmm. because it is something to be remembered. Within a culture that is to a large extent oral, because the Bible grew within a written culture, but it was only the sages that wrote, only the monks, the hoi polloi. They still divided, they depended on rhetorics. So prophets spoke poetically so that people can remember what they are saying. And that is the same thing with any oral culture around the world. You don't consult oral, uh, oral culture contemplating like you consult literature. I can open a book and sit down like this and be looking at it and I'm getting information. If you don't mouth it in oral, you lose it. That is why they are referred to as or for. That that is said for is to say or for is that that is said. So somebody just hear that, <laughs> but somebody just say that. Um, or for, that's jazz. Or that's <laughs> Meanwhile, is it what is or for? Um, pay or for. He's mm. calling out sayings. Mm. That's that is said. And you must call out sayings if it is recorded in oral. It is alright. You have to call it out. Yeah. You can't. You can't because consult it otherwise. It's not written down. You can't consult it otherwise. Wow. No. That means there must be a lot of wisdom, technology, knowledge, and That's all that wisdom, technology, and knowledge we have committed into waste because we didn't document because it. no because we believe that it is a uh, devilish because, because we documented it orally we yeah, documented, documented orally, orally. so uh -huh, yes but what i mean that is I, I i know a lot of it i studied them i read them i'm not scared it cannot turn yes, into yes, a devil so person maybe because our excessive consumption of western education and western civilization in western language has made us now see that is part local. that is part of it but it is actually a result of a planned and strategically implemented um, brainwashing. Hmm. I think I heard, I heard sometime <laughs> that in the early days when Christianity came to Nigeria, I'm not sure how true this is, that some drums were not allowed to be played in church. Ah, until I don't think 20 years ago you'll be bold enough to carry a bata into church. Hmm. What's wrong with that? Mm. Well, <laughs> they believe it is a ritual drum. I, my experience, there was a certain Reverend Anyodoku. My father was a minister. My father was a trainer of priests. And when Reverend Anyodoku registered in Emmanuel College, my father said, Ah, Anyodoku, where's your drum? He said, Ah. <laughs> Go back home, go and bring your drum. And I remember he used to play drums in the church because he was told, you don't, don't take it to church. Oh. So it was a matter of uh, cultural nationalism that brought a lot of these instruments back into church. I mean, if you see people like Dr. Damala Adeshino who go to church and Iba uh, Lodumare, Iba Jesu, Iba, and all these things, you find that some people still are not very well, comfortable not with well, it. <laughs> they're, not very, they're not very comfortable with it. But this is the way we managed knowledge before literacy. And we didn't do too badly with it. Yeah, there are advantages in writing. I mean, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not that conservative. There are advantages in writing. But despite the great powers of writing, guess what? Speech is still the preferred means of human communication. That's why you are not here. I could have written this and sent it to you. My own, I have a fundamental uh, assumption. And that assumption is our past cannot be only mystical.
I mean, I'm not, I, I'm just trying to be conservative. <laughs> Ordinarily, I'll say, there's no mystery, no, no, no mystery in our past. <laughs> but let me be a bit. Uh, so our past is not explainable only by mystery. There is a lot of science in our past. It is impossible. The world we live in is a world in which this thing we call science, by the way, all this thing we call science is the word of God, though. Let there be light, and there was light. Mm. Let, uh, look at the theory of evolution. Look at the order in which things came in the Bible. Exactly the same thing. Who copied who? Mm. 